Good morning, this is Jerry with Roof Life of Oregon. Hope everyone's having a great morning. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about skylights and how important it is to have them done correctly. Skylights are one of these items on a house that people absolutely either love or hate. And one of the reasons, the reasons why they love it is because it adds great light into your home. The reason why some people hate them is because when they're done incorrectly, they cause a huge mess on the inside of your home with the amount of water that hits them and that can go potentially into your home and destroy things. Here this morning we have two skylights that happen to be leaking. So I'm going to go through a few things here to show you what is going on. One of the very first things you'll notice is that they forgot to flash their skylight. What they did is they just put caulking. Caulking is one of those things that is not really supposed to be used for roofing, believe it or not. It is used for a temporary fix until you can make a permanent solution. <clears throat> the other problem with it is they did not use the correct lower pan metal for this roof, for this chimney or the skylight. Flashing a skylight is crucial. If you don't do it correctly, you're just asking for water to come into your home. It just so happens to be that it was incorrectly roofed also. You do not want a straight line of seam over seam all the way down your home. Make sure when you are looking for your roofing company that it's a reputable one that knows how to do the detail works. The field area, the shingles, that's easy to do. Anybody can lay a shingle. But the true skill comes into trim, finishing the work, finishing the job correctly, and paying attention to all the little details. So next time you're looking at your roofing contractor, ask for examples. Make sure that they know what they're doing. This contractor didn't really have much idea what to do. Use a lot of caulking around this roof. Caulking is not for roofs, guys. It is there for a temporary fix. It is only there until you can get a professional contractor up here to do the correct thing. Here's one more problem. Is they incorrectly roofed the top of this house. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit this morning. That way you have something to look for when you're looking at your roof and you're looking for a new contractor that this will give you some insight on what to look for. Thank you everybody. This is Jerry with Roof Life of Oregon. Have a great morning.